Dairy farming is going global as more Chinese farmers head to Israel where they're milking the expertise of local Israeli farmers. Xing Yangshi has come all the way from Inner Mongolia to this dairy farm in Israel's Jordan Valley. Here he's learning how to boost milk production back home. New technologies developed in Israel are vastly improving the managing, monitoring and feeding of cows on dairy farms, something that's becoming increasingly important in China where more and more people use milk and dairy products in their everyday diet. There is no other um, uh, milk analyzer um, uh, that doing the same things as, doing, as we're doing now for any other company in, the, in this market. The unique of the system is that the whole system, you got all this data, there is no other system that you can get all this data together. And the technology is spreading across Asia, especially into Vietnam, where the largest and most comprehensive dairy project in the world is being built. Over the next five years, a dozen Israeli companies will supply high-quality fresh milk to the Vietnamese people, to the cost of 500 million US dollars. 30,000 cows are being flown to Vietnam to supply 300 million litres of milk a year. Already by the end of this year, half a million litres of milk will be produced daily. Today, the average Vietnamese drinks 11.5 litres of milk a year, most of it from imported milk powder. By comparison, the average Israeli drinks 11 times that amount. Each dairy cow in Vietnam produces about 3,500 litres of milk a year, one-third of what Israeli cows produce. But Israeli know-how is changing all that. The state-of-the-art technology allows farmers to keep computerized track of every cow, making for healthy herds and high-quality milk. We believe there is a long and very promising future in Asia in general. Such significant growth has to be supported by technology. And uh, we are focusing on this area. We believe in its potential. And the cooperation goes both ways, because while Asians are coming to Israel to learn, a growing number of Israeli trainers are in China lending their expertise. And the Israeli technology is the best. We have uh, something two months or three months training here for the all top manager from China. We have Israeli farm manager, two Israeli farm managers working in China now. Milk consumption is still low in Asia compared to Israel and other Western countries. But demand is growing, opening the gates for further cooperation. And as Asians use the Israeli technology, Israel in turn is helping Asia milk its dairy market. Haley Slear, Channel News Asia, Afikim, Israel.